Hello my boys, good morning. So I made my coffee here because today we're gonna talk about making currency. I've seen quite a lot of people complaining about not having enough currency because they cannot play the game long, you know, and they want to get the most profit out of their time spent in game. So here I will show you three easy methods that you can apply. These are very easy, can be done even with cheap builds. So enough talking, let's jump into it. So we're gonna talk about gem leveling in offhand with a twist. I'm gonna talk about labyrinth trials, Nico in maps that will give you selfie that we can convert into device. And here is an honorable mention. Yeah, so let's get going. Leveling gems is an old profit making idea. So basically in offhand here, you want to put a bow and this quiver here, Maloney mechanism. <clears throat> so this quiver here has extra sockets. Now this means that we can level up nine gems, not six. Yeah? What gems I like to level? Mostly awakened gems. Why? Because they give the most profit and you also don't need to click them. You know, when the gem is leveling up, you need to click it. One level up, one level up. And But these gems level up harder. So you don't need to click all the time. You just put them there and let them level up. There are some strategies, for example, Harbingers that give a lot of experience. You might want to level up gems for that strategy. Now let's talk about the profit. Let's take a simple awakened gem. This one, it's awakened cold penetration. See, thank you, sir. But if it reaching the maximum level, you always make profit, even if it's a brick. Here I have a good example. The idea scenario after you apply quality, you want to get it to level six. This will give you the most profit. But even if you fail, for example, it remains unchanged like this, you still make profit, it's more than one diviner. But even if it loses one level, no problem, you leave it inside because it will still level up to level five. Let's say it loses quality, which is the worst result of all. You still make profit even if it loses quality. This is so great, man. Uh, for example, here. Even if it has 18 quality, 70 quality, you still will sell it close to one diviner. Don't ask me why, but people buy it. Yeah, I did this strategy for a long time. So my advice to you is to go on places like TFT Discord and buy gems in bulk. So people are selling awakened gems in bulk and you buy like 20, 30 and you put them in a tab. And then you will equip them. Yeah on your bow and quiver. And here I will show you also a trick because we want to have white sockets, yeah? Because some gems will be red, some will be blue. For example, here, I want to put a red. Now, because I have white socket, I can just put it here, yeah? Let's do it for the quiver. So we have this one, Omen on blanking, yeah? That can give uh, up to three uh, white sockets. This is the idea. You take a uh, chromatic orb while you have this in inventory and you click it. Now I have two. If you're happy, you can stop here, for example, uh, maybe you want to get free. You try again. Look, I got free. I got lucky. Usually you stop around two or three. Yeah? And now I can go back to my gems and just put, for example, now I can put red gems here. You know? Very sexy, very nice. What uh, other gems you can uh, level up here are transfigured gems. Yeah, This you can get it from the lab or by turning up certain divination cards. Or if you're very lazy, you know, you suck at the game, you are very lazy, you can buy auras. This aura at level 21, they give you some profit and you don't need to apply quality. So you don't need to put uh, gem cutters freeze. Now, if you don't know which gems have the most value without quality, it's very easy. So here we go on pure Ninja. Let me go to site. You have here skill gems. Uh, you put here level uh, 21. Quality, you put 0, 90. Corrupt, you put yes. And you put normal. Sorry, here normal. You can see. Here you can see the gems that are level 21 award the most profit without quality. You see, depends on the meta. For example, Temple Shield, Discipline, Determination, these are the ones that you want. Yeah. And you look here on the list and you see what's profitable. Good. Now another problem that can appear is for the bow. As you can see, this has a high dexterity requirement. So you want maybe you're a melee build that has a low dexterity here. And you cannot equip the bow. No problem. I'll show you how to do it. So here we go on the trade website. You put search bow make sure it's rare you put you want with six sockets yeah and here for the dexterity requirement you put something decent like under 100 then you click search you see and you find it like this and the uh, look requires 26 dexterity so let's put it even lower like 50. Mm. so you don't want to have dexterity problems and they are very cheap six then you put maybe omen of blanking and you also have some white sockets on top yeah this is how you do it Gem leveling is very profitable, it's brainless. You put it in offhand, you switch to your main hand and they will still level up while you do your maps. Good stuff, my boys. Now let's talk about the second one, which is one of my favorite methods. Also, we have this car up here, let's talk about it. So you can get the primitive chaotic resonators, which sell for a good price at the moment. So there are 60 or 55 for one divine up and you get them very, very easy. 
Yeah, let's open the atlas uh, tree here. Basically, all that you need to do is to branch from here and take these points here. Uh, they can be included in a lot of atlas strategies. Yeah, you just inspect some points which you think that you can, and you put them here. On many strategies, it can be included, especially strategies that don't use a lot of scarabs because we can get even more profit with the scarab here. So this node here, mining by products, has 10% chance to also give you azurite on top of sulfate. Yeah. Uh, and we can go to the Nico encampment and convert that azurite into resonators that we can sell for money. But to, to maximize the profit out of this, you want this scarab here that will give you 150 more sulfate. So we will get a lot of azurite. So it's 10% chance to get a lot of azurite. After you do, I don't know, like 50 maps, you will go to Nico in the mine encampment. Let's pay him a visit now. Hmm. When I bought some coffee, it tastes like shit. I need to buy another one. Very bad coffee. Welcome. Uh, you go here, purchase items, and you buy this thing. Chaotic resonator. You can put control shift and buy a full stack. Let's buy everything. So I ran some maps yesterday with this uh, strategy with this cara. And here is what I get. Now these are extra easy divines on top. Because uh, 60 of this chaotic resonator sell for one divino. Yeah. So here I made three divinos. Basically for nothing. I paid like... Uh, four hours I played yesterday and I made three divinos for nothing, but it gets crazier because you can also take this node here Packed with energy that gives you powerful busts. So you'll move faster. You'll have maximum resistances and you'll deal more damage This is optional. You don't need it Basically this points here and you get extra uh, Chaotic resonator for free Yeah, this is easy profit can be done on a lot of builds You see the sulfate well and you click it with the mouse Brainless. Now let's talk about the third method, which implies uh, the special offerings. We have Gift of the Goddess, Dedication of the Goddess, and Tribute of the Goddess. Gift of the Goddess is the most expensive. You can see 1.5 divines or 2 divines in bulk. If you have more than 5, you can sell it for 2 divines. But even the other ones, look, this is 60 Kyo Sorb. So if you're unlucky and you don't get Gift of the Goddess, you get this one, which is 60 Kyo Sorb. And, and this one also, which is uh, 35 or 40 in bulk. While you do your maps, you will see a special lab trial which will say improve labyrinth trial and you will do it because they are very fast and you click the last altar and you'll get an offering. These are not weighted, so uh, each of them has equal chance. Mostly you want to see gift of the goddess because you can sell it for two divines in bulk. Yeah, let's uh, put a video now on the screen. Yeah, so the nodes for this are located here and just four nodes here. If you take this node here, Trial of Glory, uh, it has 20% chance to be upgraded into an improved offering of the goddess, improved labyrinth trial. You take it here. Now let's talk about the honorable mention, which is great in my opinion, is great and can be also included in multiple atlas strategies. It involves rituals. We are not doing the actual ritual arenas, we are just clearing the monsters around the rituals because they can drop omens. And some of these omens sell for a good price. For example, this one, Omen of Fortune, raised up in price again. You can sell them in bulk for five Divine Orbs. Omen of Connection, it's like one Divine Orb. Even this one, Omen of Amelioration, it's um, 0.3 Divine Orbs. This one, of Blank, is 0.3. And you got the idea. Also, from time to time, you will see the Nameless Ritual. You, you read the names. If you see that it's Nameless Ritual, you will do it because it can drop this special invitation. It will drop. It's guaranteed to get it. And you will get two. Yeah, so you also read the ritual name in case it's nameless ritual. This is easy. And uh, how it will look the setup here for the skill tree? Why I said this is an honorable mention? Because we need to allocate more points, a little more points, not a lot. Look, I will do it now with you so you see what it's all about. So if you want to include ritual for easy extra profit, you put it like this. Make sure that you always have four ritual altars. This will guarantee that you have more chances to have omens. Also, those monsters in, uh, near the rituals will grant you more items. So it's good all around. Then you want more ritual chance yeah, to spawn a ritual. So here we have 60% chance. Yeah, 
one second, uh, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, and there's one more here with 10%. You will spec here. Let's take two more points fast. Pack. And now it's guaranteed that all maps that you'll open will have four ritual altars that can drop these sweet, sweet omens here that you can sell for extra profit. Yeah. Now my suggestion is, especially for this gift to the goddess, is to gather multiple ones and sell them in bulk. So instead of getting 1.5 Divinox, you can sell in bulk for 2 Divinox a pop. Same here with the Omen of Fortune. The idea is you, you try to sell in bulk. If you're poor and you want to make instant profit, you can sell it directly on the trade website. Yeah. Good stuff. So this is my suggestion to you for the gems. Try to buy Awakened gems because they are the most profitable. And also you put them here, you don't need to click it all day. Yeah, You can buy it uh, from the trade website also if you want. Even this one are not that bad to level. Here I have one level 3, let's see. These don't require quality by the way. Let's see if I get level 4. No, I didn't got it. But you got the idea, this is important. My boys, I'll enjoy the rest of the coffee on the balcony, which by the way, this is a very cheap and bad coffee. I had to put sugar so I can drink it, you know. Man, I need to pay more attention. Pay close attention when I buy my coffee, you know. I'll go on the balcony and finish it. Enjoy and good luck.